Hello guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how to customize this uh, project file. Uh, if you already process this project file from uh, Video Hype, I really appreciate it and then thank you for processing this project. So today I'm going to show you how to customize this uh, project uh, if you already know and then maybe you never know this project file. Uh, I will show you uh, the preview of this uh, project file. Okay, so as you can see that this project is uh, have uh, two project file, uh, long version and then short version. So if you already process, so you know that there is a uh, two file in the folder, in the folder and then this folder you can see that the long version and then the short version. So if you don't know how to customize this project so i think this video is right for you so i will make it clear and then uh, make it understanding so you can follow my instruction to customize this project file so if you already open the project file you can see there is the folder this is the folder edit your text here and then this is the folder for photo and then this folder for the video so you just need to focus to this three folder so if you want to change the text for example that this is the logo yeah this is the composition the logo and then the scene one there is the tag so if you want to change this tag you just go into this folder and then you can find it this is the text one yeah this is the text one text two text three text four and five and then this is for your logo and then this is for the ending text and then this is the text for the guest speaker one guest speaker two and then the host name so for example the scene one if you open this composition text one you can see that this is the text for the scene one yeah you have you have four five five text that you can change yeah this is the text one text two text three text uh, four and then five so for example if you want to change this text next month you just click this text layer double click and then you can change it just type thing in your keyboard so this is next month and then next week 
and then you go to the this text two we just leave it like that next week we have we have for you special so big concert so as you can see that the text is not lined up in the center yeah so if you want to make the text line up in the center you just uh, select this layer and then the next layer this two layer text yeah select and then press shift on your keyboard select and then just move to make it the center so now look in the center so if you press play you see it's already updated yeah so we back to the main composition and then voila it's already updated yeah so this is the scene 2 and then this is scene 2 that there have the the video one so you if you go to this folder plus video here okay this is the video one so just close it and then you just double click this composition okay and now To make it more organized, you can create the folder. Click this, create a new folder, and then uh, make the name for the folder video and photo. So, after that, you just import your video or photo. Select this folder, go into file, and then import file. So, just import this all this photo now your photo is already inside this folder okay now go back to the video one okay this is you can see that this is replace this layer and then they have the instruction delete this layer after you drop your video or photo is that mean after you drop your photo or video you can delete this layer just click and then press delete on your keyboard okay now drag your photo select your left hand on the mouse and then drag it i mean long press your left mouse key and then drag to this composition okay now you see that this photo is not uh i think it's too big yeah too big so how to make it this photo a uh, fit in the composition so you can press the S on your keyboard. Now you can press S on your keyboard. You see there's the scale. Or you can right click on your mouse and then transform. Fit to comb in white or high. Let make it white. Okay, now the photo is fit into the composition. Now go back to the main composition. Now it's changing. Yeah. So sometimes this photo is not really uh, dynamic because it's not moving. So how to make this photo is moving? So go back into video one. And then you can press S on your keyboard. Scale. And then click this the timer then go into maybe five second and then something like this to zoom okay now go back into first frame and then press play see the photo is zoom 
or maybe i i want to make more dynamic this photo is not only just zoom in so maybe we can make the rotation and then press r on the keyboard rotation and then click this timer and then go into the five second and then maybe rotation uh, something like this yes okay now go back into first frame okay now it's maybe more dynamic so go back this okay now let's play okay now this is the text for the scene too so this is the uh, scene for the fast photo so if you want to change the scene uh wait a minute okay sorry uh, my mouse is dying so if you want to change the this this the the, the fast photo i think the fast photo is this yeah so this is this. so we can go into this scene 5 or you just go into this folder place fast photo here so they have 34 photo you can drop into this composition just like this yeah so just you just open all this folder uh, i mean uh, the composition and then you just drag your photo into this composition and then make it to transform and then fit to come white yeah something like that yeah so the first photo will be updated automatically okay i think uh that's it for now so this is the simple easy way to customize this project because you just only go into all the folder and then change the text and then place your video so if this place the video you can place also the photo yeah so if you have the video footage just flash and then if you don't have the video and then you want to uh, only photo just drop into this composition your photo uh, like i did before so uh, it's easy to uh, customize this project file so maybe some of you is not yet purchased this project so you can purchase this project from this video hive and photo marketplace and then you just purchase this project file is only 29 dollar so you just use if you want to use this project for the personal use you just need the regular license and then if you need this project for the commercial use you just purchase the extended license so many people is already purchased this project for the event so maybe next i will update this project template will more extra scene or maybe extra speaker so uh, i think that's it for now so if you already have problem about this project file or maybe you have something that Oh, I need to add, add another scene so you can comment in the in the below this tutorial on YouTube you can uh, email me if you already purchased and then uh, I will make the tutorial for that so I think that's it for now so thank you for purchasing my project and then thank you for always support me as a motion graphic artist 
to always purchase the project via Envato Marketplace. Thank you for now. Bye bye.